guys welcome back to my channel it's Yaelin and in today's video I'm going to be trying out the Diva Curl Diva Fuser on my hair because I've been having a hard time finding methods to dry my wash and goes I have bought the Modern Elements hooded blow dryer and I didn't assemble that one quite correctly um, but I used it about two times and it ended up cracking the next time I tried to use it because it wasn't assembled correctly, I was able to return to Sally's, get my money back. But with that, it was a rolling um, hooded dryer and I felt like it didn't have enough space in my house and it was just in the way. So then, I bought a regular like, was it, diffuser and that I find I just get a ton of frizz, my wash and go doesn't look good and I don't like it. For me, the best method has been when I air dry, that's when I get the most bomb results. Then next, I tried my Ion hooded dryer. Now this was a tabletop one. It did nothing for my hair. Every time I tried to dry my hair, it was taking forever. My roots was still wet. I returned that back to Sally's. I was like, I don't got time for this. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this Diva Curl Diva Fuser. This is not sponsored. I was gonna try this and I had bought the separate hand attachment and I bought this because I was like okay the attachment is cheaper and I'm going to see if it can fit on my other dryer and I could save money it did not fit so I was glad I bought the actual whole kit to see if it works so guys I'm just gonna get straight into this review if you're not already subscribed go ahead hit the subscribe button turn on my post notifications so you are aware of when I post and let's get into it I like this thing when I first plugged it in, I wasn't sure how this was going to work out or what it was going to do. But I had a theory in my mind that because this thing is shaped like a hand, it is going to work on my curls. I like the fact that it's shaped like a hand because it can get up into my roots. With the other regular diffusers, when it's just round and it's like these little stems poking it's causing all this frizz but for some reason when this goes in it's not causing all that frizz so my wash and go is actually still turning out to be really defined and good and frizz free i like that it has the airflow on both sides so it has holes on both sides so the airflow is getting on top of my hair and like also throughout the hair so the way that it's shaped it's really really making it easy for my hair to get dry faster and especially at the roots like I'm able to finally get my roots dry and it's kind of upsetting because the price of this product and I'm just like but that's with all diva curl products it's like the price and then I end up liking it and then I'm just like why did you try it now you like it now you gotta spend the money but also what I like is it comes with this little nozzle attachment now this isn't any different from my other blow dryers nozzle attachment I feel like they pretty much are the same quality on the same level but it's really just this attachment where I'm just like okay this is pretty dope now I saw on amazon.com that you can find like dryer attachments that look like this but I was looking at reviews and they kept saying it's cheaply made they easily cracked and I was trying to find like a cheaper alternative but I wasn't able to so yeah i'm pretty much probably just going to end up investing in this and keeping it because so far i like it i've used it twice now since i filmed this video um well the clip that you're going to see of me trying it out i've used it twice now and i honestly like it i feel like i was trying to find reasons not to like it because it is 160 dollars but i like it um it also has 1600 watts so it's it's pretty um good at drying the hair it has this nice thick cord so it doesn't feel cheap at all and this is just the actual um dryer itself it just says diva dryer and you just attach everything on it it easily attaches which is also something i liked so i just literally stick it on like there's no hard work to this you stick it on and you just start diffusing and it also has the settings on it it has cool it has low medium and hot and it also has the speed of it so I find that I can use all different speeds hot gets pretty pretty hot like if you put on the hottest and you put it on two 
uh, which is the speed, which is the fastest. It gets pretty hot at your roots, but it's also going to help dry really fast. Um, so yeah, with this, I pretty much can get my hair dry in about 30 minutes, which I like. It's time efficient. I still get frizz free results, and my hair looks nice and defined. So y'all, um, for the price though, for the price. But it works pretty, pretty good. So as y'all can see, I use and on this wash and go as well and my hair looks really good like this is day three hair my hair is still looking good my hair was able to just dry like it even says on hair ionic technology prevents frizz and provides a healthy shine professional 1600 watt ac motor dries curls faster and the patented patented hand shaped diffuser enhances curls while drying uh, gently for a frizz free beautiful look and I do feel like it also adds some um, Enhancement to your curls as well like this diffuser is pretty good and yeah, I have nothing else to say about it um, I like it And I think I'm keeping it because I like it and it's nice, but I don't like the price I do not like the price and even if you were to buy the hand attachment, I believe it was $40 or $50 something like that. I'll leave the price on the screen. But yeah, guys. Um that's my review on this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you tried this out and also comment down your hair drying methods for your wash and goes. Like I want to know because I'm still trying to get the hang of wash and goes and just getting my hair to how I want it to look and everything like that. So yeah, I want to know you guys' input and what you use for when you're trying to dry your hair because I keep seeing like the plopping method and I'm like I just feel like that's not going to work for me. I don't know I just see all types of different methods so I want to like figure out the best one and see what it is I'm going to like for my hair. So yeah guys that's my quick little review. If you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead hit the subscribe button turn my post notifications and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.